George, we're back and we are Blind Rankings. A special edition of Blind Rankings today because it is World Cup winners. Not just Springboks. Oh. Any World Cup winner. So just to remind us who's ever won a World Cup before, we've got South Africa with four. You know. We've got New Zealand with three. We've got Australia with two. And we've got uh, England with one. Uh, yeah, yeah. One for England. One for the Northern Hemisphere. So this will be a mix of not necessarily the best players in those World Cups, but a nice grouping of players. It's pretty hard not to have a bad list of this one, to be honest. But let's crack it. George, are you ready to go? I think so. Okay. It's quite a strong start, George. Oh. So think carefully where we put this gentleman. A gentleman that some say brought 40-odd million South Africans together. That was busy mates with Nelson Mandela, Francois Pinot. 95 World Cup winning captain. That iconic photograph holding the cup with Madiba. How do you start with him? Thanks. Thanks, Matt. Says me, friend. Um, Francois, man. Um, sorry, he, I had to get that out. He there. did a lot for South Africa. He did think a lot. about the player. Okay, think about the player. As a player, and I've got his book, which I've read twice. Um, he had a tough journey. But because you've thrown him out there, and I, I know there's lots of class players, uh, I'm going to throw him at five. Okay, five. Middle of the pack. From the captain to the king, All Blacks Julian Surveyor. Ah, he knew when a bus was full. Eh? He 2015 was... World Cup. He was unstoppable. Oh, yeah, he used to run over people like it is for funsies. He scored about as many tries as he had caps. <laughs> 100. No, he didn't have 100 caps. Um, look, he had a good run. But um, this is going to be controversial, I suppose. Could be, couldn't be. Eight. Eight. Wow. Okay, fair enough. I don't know if anyone agrees with that. Maybe drop a comment if you think it's a little too harsh. But uh, onto an Aussie legend. Oh, that's right. Not a lot of them recently. <laughs> Stephen Larkin. Oh. Hell of a player. How dare you? <laughs> Stephen Larkin was one of the best flowers to ever play the game. Pretty handy coach as well. Pretty freaking handy coach. Um, Larkham was amazing. Um, so we've got five and we've got? I've got five and I've done eight. Okay. Larkham was a top, top bloody quality player. Um, come at me. Three. Three. He wow. was great. Fair enough. Um, another great. Springbok. Loose forward. Malmesbury missile. Peter Steph to toy. I mean, why? So this is World, <laughs> this is World, World Cup, Cup eh? winners, George. World Cup winners. I'm going because of his last World Cup performance. And what about the one before? And the, well, the one before, but the last one is the one that like stays with you because he obliterated well, poor Jordy Barrett. Um, he was, if we didn't have him on the field, we wouldn't have won. Okay, fair. So where's he going? Two. <laughs> Two. So... Single-handedly won us World Cup. I just have a feeling, I have a feeling that you're going to throw someone out there that, hmm? no, I, there's, yeah. Fair two. enough. There's, there, there, there are a lot of loose forwards in this list. And the, sec and the next one is Richie McCaw. <laughs> no. New Zealand's finest. Double World Cup winning captain. I the only other double World Cup winning captain other than Sir Easy. And I can't be biased, eh? And you can't be biased. It was a bit of a postman. He knew. Pushed the envelope. Pushed it big time. Um, he was worse than the postal service. He would come in anyway from the side. Uh, look, he's gonna have to be number one. Whoa, number one! A South African giving Richie McCaw number one. That is disgraceful. I hope the comments are absolutely filled it up. It was incredible. On that. Richie McCaw, hell of a player. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely, a little skinny these days for my liking. No, I, but we'll move on. Does Iron Man's and stuff. We're gonna go back to the backs. With this one, Springbok back, double World Cup winner, Francois Stein. Uh, one's gone. One's gone, two's gone. Two's gone. I've gone all in here. Franz Stein. It's not looking good. He's one of the first Springboks to win two World Cups. Um, he was 20 odd when he won. He, he won two World one. Cups in two generations of players. Yeah. And, and, he's just a lacquer, he's a channel. Um, I'm going to go number four. Okay, fine. We're going back to Australia. Australia, okay. mate. Australia. Saw him at Wimbledon a couple of weeks ago. 
George Gregan. Oh, right. Absolute terrier of a scrum half. Oh, he is one of the best players of the game. He is. Was. African born. African born. So technically he's South African. No, it's not true. Um, I've gone one, two. Have I done three? Yeah. I've done three. Gosh, I've done, done four. I've gone all in. I've done one, two, three, four. And I've done five. Have I? Um, oh, George Gregan deserves to be up there. So if I've done five, I'm going to go six. Okay. Fair. That's a good good part. Yeah. Centurion, Wallaby, as far as I know. <laughs> Don't fact check me. Um, next off the list. It's the only Englishman on the list. Oh. It's a pretty good fucking Englishman. <laughs> Johnny Wilkinson. Oh. The top half has been decimated. Yeah, you've... Um, and we've got rid of eight. There's oh, not a lot left. He has to be seven. Seven? He deserves okay. higher, but he's, he's one of the best to ever play the game. And I know what's coming... I've got a feeling I know what's coming next. It's a Kiwi. Yeah. It's a centre. Okay. It's Ma Nanu. Uh, he's still... Playing. He's at 40 years old. He's still playing. He's playing in America. I think he's 41. The greatest center of all time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The greatest center of all time. So have I got have I literally only got nine left? And and nine and ten. Yeah. Nine and ten. It's gonna have to be nine. Which okay. is not fair. It is not fair, especially because the next one oh, is a South African. Okay. Double World Cup winner. It's Andre Pollard. <laughs> He's basically scored all the points in both World Cups for us. Ten? I'm going to have to man. say ten. Oh. Because right. it's Andre, we'll give you a switcheroo. We're going to yeah, give you I'm a switcheroo. I'm going to switch him. Um, and this is no hate to the Aussies. A little bit of hate towards the Aussies. Um, but Andre, I'm going to switch from ten to four. I think Gregan was at four. No, Gregan was at six. No. So then Larkin he was at four. Oh, yeah, Larkham. Sorry, brother. Well, it's whoever was at four. Andre is going to go in there. And it's horrendous because Larkham should not be 10, but Andre can't be 10. Andre has won two World Cups. Larkham hasn't. And he's an absolute China. That's it. Well, that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, boy.